I'm going to show you three paintings that I created. Actually, I've created more than three, but three that I'm going to show you uh, use, that I used acrylic chips or some people call it acrylic skins. Now, it looks like a regular painting from here. However, I'm going to put it sideways so you can see the difference. If you were to touch it, you will feel the thickness and the edges of the painting. Even this rock here was done with acrylic chips. See the entrance, you can see the thickness. It actually makes you feel like you can go in there. Makes a difference on a painting. The next one is another painting that I did. And this painting, also of Isabella Puerto Rico, where you see a statue in Isabella. And the whole thing was done with acrylic skins. The trees, you can see. The tree is acrylic skin. The whole thing is acrylic skin. The nose, the hair of the statue, the lips are all done with acrylic chips. Now if you want to use, if you want to use thicker acrylic skin like I did here for the Pozo de Jacinto in Isabella, Puerto Rico, but you can actually, I can actually put my finger on the there. You can see so that you feel like it's you inside that sinkhole or blowhole as I think people call it. And you can feel the thickness of the rocks. You can actually touch them. Okay. This part is the only part that was done straight with acrylic paint. You can almost feel the water splashing from, through that blowhole. I recommend when you when start this project that you use either porcelain, a palette knife similar to this, about an inch thick. If you don't have a palette like this, you can use a table uh, knife or anything that's a little sharp that would allow you to remove the chips from the tablet. So you definitely need a porcelain plate, a palette knife like this one. We purchased almost anywhere. And of course, what you do is, every time you do a painting, you'll be using the plate. And you don't want to clean the plate, you leave it there. You allow the chips to develop. Once those chips develop, and you have enough to do a painting using the, the chips, what you want to do then is you either, if it's too tight, too thick, you add a little, a tiny bit of water just to loosen the chips up. Not too much, just a, just a tiny bit uh, of water. And then of course what you do is then you start removing them from the plate. And as you remove them, you'll end up with pieces like this one. And that's fine. And you're going to have a lot of pieces like that. Different shapes, different thickness. And sometimes if you get lucky, you'll get a huge one like this, which you can then break up based on what you're painting. Now remember, you can use these chips 
to create rocks, trees, leaves. There's a lot. It's up to you how creative you can get. Here's another nice big chip. These are all removed, but this was just the idea to show you how to do it. But remember, as you're taking it off, and you just go ahead and start removing it slowly and lifting. And then you get your chip. You see how soft it is in the bottom? Now, the other thing you're going to need, I recommend you use Gorilla Glue or very strong glue that it sticks to the canvas. Now, when you're doing this, you definitely want to use canvas. Canvas, um, stretch ca canvas or canvas panel will do fine. As I put my paint down on the porcelain plate here, this will become, if I leave it like that, I'll probably use some more, but if I leave it like that, this will be future chips that I can use for a painting. Now this is ready for the painting, so I'll let it dry, make sure that it dries nicely. Let it dry for a while. And I'll come back when it's dry to continue with the painting.
once the black dried on the chips now we go ahead and implement very softly we add some gray very softly you can make the old gray. finish the rocks, I'm going to let it dry, dry a little bit and then I'm going to finish the sax with a little bit of a very very light white or just light, very light bluish, more white than blue to create, to finish the rocks. The next step will be using some white with a tiny bit, tiny tiny bit of white, uh, black I'm sorry, and we're just going to lay it softly and we're going to assume that the sun is coming from this direction so we'll see what happens just very softly very softly keep it softly very softly like that you begin to see what happens by doing this I think we'll do some over here See what happens, and then we can make some corrections. I think we need to do this. Okay. That's the next step. So now you begin to see the rocks, the rocks standing out. I'm going to apply some white where the sun, where I think the sun is hitting. So the sun seems to be hitting here, so I'm going to emphasize that. Wherever the sun seems to be hitting, the heart is. Nope. I have to fix that one.
Thank you.